Hello and welcome to the tutorial on comparing numbers. And in this tutorial we're going to do numbers up to 1000. And we are going to use the number grid as and when required. So the first things First things first, we're going to write down the symbols that we use to compare numbers. Now, the first symbol is this one, which means less than, equal to, and greater than. So let's begin with our first example. Suppose we have these two numbers, 873 and we've got 857. So 873 and 857. So the first thing we do is let's label the digits to begin with. Units, tens and hundreds. So we've got units, tens and hundreds. Now do you recall what we do first? That's right, we look at the digit on the left hand side first. In this case, it is the hundreds. We've got eight hundreds here and eight hundreds here. So we're comparing these two. They are exactly the same. Now, because they are exactly the same, we're going to look at the digits on the right. So here we've got 73 and we've got 57. Now, I'm sure you know this. But let's use the number grid, just so that we can illustrate this better. So now we are comparing numbers 73 and 57. Forget about the 800, because they are the same in both numbers. So 73. Find 73 on the number grid. Got it? Great. Now find number 57. Now, which one do you think comes first? Which is the smaller number? That's right, the smaller number is 57. So therefore, the arrow points this way. 73 is greater than 57. It's pointing to the smaller number, which is 57. So now we can rewrite this question and we can say 873 is greater than 857. So that was nice and easy. Now let's have a look at our second example. Now suppose we have the numbers 685. And the other number is 649. 685 and 649. First things first, let's look at the digit on the left hand side. We're not going to bother labeling each digit in this one because you know what they are. So we got 600 and we got 600. We're comparing the two together, they are exactly the same. So now what do we do? We look at the other two digits. We've got 85, and we're comparing that with 49. Now I'm going to put up the number grid. Even though this is a very simple example, look at 85, and then find 49. Which one is smaller? This is a nice easy question. The smaller number is 49. So therefore, we know that the arrow points this way. 685 is greater than 649. And it really is that simple. And that is how we compare numbers up to 1000 and we use the number grid from 1 to 100 if required.